was on its way in cardboard land, and Bottle was desperate to take a trip to the seaside. After all, her friends had been promising her a holiday for a long time, and today the weather looked just right. Oh, I do hope I can get them to go to beach, she said eagerly. We can swim into cardboard sea and build sand castles. Oh, and I can dig the deepest hole they've ever seen. Just then, Colonel Toffington arrived, along with his friend Terry, the television set. Yes, I've been feeling a bit stiff lately, said Toffington. My doctor says I could use a little sea air. Something salty, you know. Terry quickly searched his data banks. Advise summer vacation, he stated. You should go to the beach. By Jove, what a jolly good idea. I haven't been to the seaside in years. Bottle wandered over. Toffee, she shouted. Did you just say the seaside? Why, yes, replied Toffington. I say, do you fancy it? Is the earth made of card? said Bottle. I'll get Hamish. Hamish? Hamish? Hamish arrived. Ah, what's with all the screaming? he asked wearily. I was just having a wee nap. We're off to the beach, my boy, said Toffington excitedly. You can't drag me to the beach. I'm no mug. Oh, stop your whining, and you'll love it, said Bottle. Alert, said Terry abruptly. Bus approaching. Ah, most excellent. Here we go then. But I want to stay at home. Oh, put a drink in it. Tally ho! Have a pleasant trip. The trimmings travelled for a long time on the seaside bus, through towns and cities, past rolling hills and mountains. The weather was absolutely superb. Finally, they arrived at the beach. The trimmings were very excited, and even Hamish was starting to cheer up. Oh, just have a skeg at that sea, said Bottle excitedly. I'm off for a swim. Quick as a wink, Bottle dove into the water and began splashing around. Way! she yelled. This is champion. I'm going to do some digging, said Hamish. I'm going to look for buried treasure. That sounds spiffing, replied Toffee. I'll just have a sunbathe, I think. Before long, Hamish had dug himself a rather impressive looking hole. He was quite proud of it, although he had yet to find any treasure. Bottle came over to inspect his work. Do you like my hole? Hamish asked her. That chuck is not a hole, she answered firmly. That is a ditch. <gasps> How dare you? Do they speak that way about my morning's work? I would like to see you do better. Right, I will, Bottle replied. Have a skeg at this. And with that, Bottle leapt into the air and started digging in the sand. Toffington came over to see what was happening. What's going on here? he asked. Ugh, Bottle's making a wee ditch, said Hamish, grudgingly. Bottle dug deeper and deeper into the sand, heading through the Earth's crust, past several layers of rock and molten lava, past the Earth's core, before dropping out of the bottom of the planet. Oops, said Bottle. I think I dug it a bit deep. Luckily, there was a ladder leading back up, so Bottle could return to her friends without any trouble at all. She started to climb. Back at the beach, Hamish and Toffington were peering down the hole. Quite an adequate bit of work, eh? Toffington Ugh, oh, I've seen deeper. Just then, the trimmings heard a strange sound coming from above. Coming down, said a voice. It was Bottles. Bottle, where are you? said Toffington. I'm here, Chuck, I'm here. Hello. Oh, whoa. By Jove, be careful, Bottle. It's all right, Chuck, I'm coming, said Bottle, climbing the ladder again. Uh, do, ah! Two trimmings looked at each other. Oh, we could be here a while, said Hamish.